Hi, my name is Bill Cox and I'm the director of Man Up. I was raised on a pig farm outside of a place called Dwajak, Michigan. My parents were Methodists and so I attended a Methodist church that my mother was the organist at. But my grandparents were Mennonites and I really enjoyed going to the Mennonite church and vacation Bible school because the Mennonites seem to have such a clear vision of faith and I really identified with that. I just believed, I, I, I didn't believe that my life would necessarily be easy because of uh, being a Christian, but I did believe that my life will, will just be better. Uh, once I finished high school, I was in the United States Navy. Uh, then I went to Central Michigan University and after that, I made an economic migration uh, to Houston, Texas. And when I got here, uh, I knew that I wanted a Protestant group, a church to go to because my core beliefs that I believed in the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit being one God, and also in soul competency, the fact that I don't need to go through a saint that I can speak to God directly. But other than that, I was basically open. I came to Sugarland Baptist Church, which at that time was called Williams Trace Baptist Church. I got married there. I have children. However, my wife is uh, plugged in in different ministries. And so I always enjoyed going to a men's only uh, adult Bible fellowship. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to discuss things and put a man's spin on it. I was in this uh, adult Bible fellowship. Uh, it was uh, led by John Cates, who was a world-renowned therapist, outstanding guy, uh, but it was more therapy. He had a uh, serious illness and was going to have to give up his leadership. And I was with uh, Michael Cropper. We were the last ones that had to make a decision uh, when we were leaving the class. And uh, I, I remember it vividly as we were leaving the class and he, would, he didn't have anywhere else to go. I wanted to stay in a men's only adult Bible fellowship. And the rest of the members of the class, they were either going with their wives or uh, various different fellowships. And I said, if I lead a class, uh, will you come to it? He goes, sure. I go, actually, you're just as good as me. So I grabbed the coin out of my pocket. And I was gonna flip it right then. And Mike stopped me, he goes, you know, Bill, I'm not a member. So it was down to me to being a leader. But at that point in time, it gave me the opportunity to put what I thought was important for men into a men adult Bible fellowship. It's one thing that through prayer, we often knock on the door, knock on God's door. But there are times when God knocks on our door and it's up to us to answer.